lineup after the UEFA Cup defeat in Dresden. It's a welcome return for Charlie Nicholas and John Hewitt to the attack. Aberdeen substitutes Brian Irvin and Brian Grant. And there's Aberdeen captain Willie Miller, scored three goals this season. Now with 62 caps, he equals Danny McGrain's record. And only Kenny Dalglish has more Scotland caps than this man. And the Rangers team showing three changes from the side that scored four in Poland in midweek. Ray Wilkins is out with flu. And with Cooper and Monroe on the bench, that means a debut for Neil Cooper. With uh, Brown at number three and Drinkle number seven. And there is Rangers' latest signing, Neil Cooper making his debut in a light blue jersey signed from Aston Villa for £250,000 made only 20 league appearances for them last season but made 132 league appearances for Aberdeen before going south and the match referee Louis Bithau of Ayr well this is the match of the day in the B&Q Premier Division both teams unbeaten in the league and Rangers yet to suffer a reverse in any match and with both teams meeting again in the Skull Cup final on the 23rd, this is also an important dress rehearsal. Robertson winding up for a long one. Aberdeen taking the initiative. McLeish up there. Nicholas! And an escape for Rangers in the opening 30 seconds, but the whistle is gone. The referee whistle has gone and look at this off the post and wood scrambling beaten but the whistle had gone indicating a free kick to Rangers and that pass back goes uh, through to wood Walter, Neil Cooper, Durant, and that was a good chance for Rangers if he had made uh, contact with that header there. And that was a really marvellous cross from Walter. Cooper's header was good, picking out Durant unmarked, but he never really got a hold of it. Stevens header. Connor and Ferguson jousting. Robertson picking up Nicholas. Good challenge here between Simpson and Walters. Neil Cooper gets in. Durant. Great ball for McCoy. Rangers appealing and they're getting a free kick just outside the area. You could see two divots were ploughed up there as that challenge came in on McCoy. Close to a penalty, but let's just watch as that one goes through. But McCoy's there, and the challenge made on the player just outside the box. So good decision by the referee. And Rangers have a free kick situation. Kerry Butcher at the far side. Two-headed goals in Poland in midweek. Aberdeen will be keeping a careful watch on him. Golf up two. Walter Carroll's in a great save by Stelder. These are the set piece options that are available to Rangers. And Walter getting a corner. This illustrates the deadly accuracy of Walters and a fine save by Stelder. And it comes again. The police there. Walters a bit of a tight space. Cooper going in firmly there on Robertson. Brown pressurised by Hewitt. Good support by McKimmy. And Neil Cooper getting it away in the thick of things. Janet going down as Simpson went right over that one. And Rangers players incensed by that challenge as Simpson went right over the ball there. And one or two tempers just needing to be calmed down there. The referee will take action. This will illustrate how 
tough competitive match it is Durant and Durant got it and the outcome is Neil Simpson's name within the book and Ian Durant is being carried off and the last time I saw a Rangers player being carried off like this it was Terry Butcher last November against Aberdeen and Butcher was out for the rest of the season so let's hope that it isn't bad news for Ian Durant and Stuart Munro coming into the fray so Rangers will reshuffle their midfield Munro will probably go into the back four with John Brown pushing forward and here's the incident again Cooper sliding in there Connor again the loose ball breaking and really Cooper Simpson was right over the ball there now here's Rangers pushing forward Drinkle in the box so is Goff near post one Brown back heading and Schnelder positive in the air for Aberdeen Stevens Brown leaving it to Monroe, the Ranger substitute for the injured Ian Durant and Brown going in hard on McKimmy and Brown will be booked for that challenge here was the incident Brown had lost the ball McKimmy had it and really that was a rash challenge and the referee correct in booking the Rangers number three the second player to be booked in a space of four minutes left and midfield Robertson a testing one Nicholas as Woods waited Nicholas played to the whistle again certainly the angle was tight but uh, it was close a close call watch this high ball Nicholas getting behind everyone Woods coming and then hesitating making sure the post was guarded and the, the best Nicholas could do was the side netting Brown and Cooper going in hard in midfield winning it for Rangers Brinkle Walters left two men on him an early cross McCoy Brown deflected and past the post for a corner that's certainly been Rangers' best attacking move of the first half. Walters' cross was deadly. McCoy got away from his marker, and it was Alec McLeish to the rescue for the Dons. Third corner, a particularly good one. Way by Hewitt, Nicholas holding, twisting. rise to him for that uh, little bit of skill that keeps Aberdeen in possession being calmed down by 
Terry Butcher and Mark Walters will require a little bit of attention here's the incident and again McKimmy following right through Walters is okay but McKimmy becomes the third player to be booked on the half hour mark so it's a debut in a light blue jersey plus a booking for Neil Cooper John Brown for Rangers and again the big men go up Goff there bit of pushing on Robertson and Goff will have to get back into the back four position Cooper decides just to steady things up. Right down the line. Amazingly kept in. Dangerous cross and it was Connor who got in in front of Ian Ferguson. Positive header. Another corner to Rangers. Rangers ahead in the corner sticks. This is uh, it's at 4-3. Looks at the near post. So is Brown. Golf beaten there by Robertson. Cooper! What a goal! Cooper on his debut for the White Blues scores the opening goal very much against the run of play. Aberdeen nil, Rangers won. And it all came from the corner. It looked to have been cleared, but watch Cooper's torpedo shot. Schnell does it, no chance, and Rangers ahead. And that goal will certainly lift Rangers because it's fair to say that until that goal came along the Aberdeen defence has been coping very well with their attack and the fans who have made the journey north to support Rangers are obviously in good heart so Rangers still on the attack Brown the shot in and again Elder there to get a hand to it as it might just have seeped in at the near hand post. That was a bit of quick thinking by Brown as McCoy won it for him. Powerfully struck shot. Elder did well again. Another corner. Gorkin here this time and Vincol just could make contact. Seems to be a little bit of pushing inside the box. Oh, that header was brave. Of course, really came off second best in that clash there with Alec McLeish. What, what happened? And yes, McLeish and McCoy, a clash of the head. And again, full mark to the referee. So in the stoppage time in the first half, Alan McCoy, a clash of heads with Alec McLeish. Completely accidental, but uh, the Rangers striker going off for attention to the touchline but uh, he'll just be in the dressing room perhaps a second or two before the rest of his teammates so just 10 men at the moment as we have played almost two minutes of stopping time in the first half can Aberdeen strike back Simpson and Simpson falls there here was the possible penalty claim let's have a look at it and really it was Simpson who tripped over the player rather than a deliberate one and it's Rangers getting it away. Half time whistle. Sound. So Rangers, 10 man Rangers go off. Ahead by one goal to nil. It's been a tough, bruising first half. Four players have been booked. McKinney and Simpson of Aberdeen 
Ian Durant involved in that one with Neil Simpson and substitution. Mark Walters with a fairly torrid first half and passes with Hakimi is off and Cooper is on. So Rangers get the second half underway and again a reshuffled side. Sprinkle going up front. Challenge as Aberdeen now try and keep an early equaliser at the start of the second half. Miller. So Rangers, in fact, start the second half with only 10 players as Stewart cuddles the ball into the far post. Oh, and Wood took a dreadful knock from Dodds. The ball is in, but the whistle had gone. So here is the incident, and you can see the cross is good, but there's the foul. So McCoy running up the touch line as Rangers, I don't know, doctor having done a stitching job on him. So McCoy waiting to come into play as Aberdeen go forward again, Butcher's there in the corner, but offside, and Ali McCoy coming back on. So there's uh, Ali McCoy to pick it up. It really he's had to have some stitches at half time. Rangers, in fact, started the second half with only 10 men. The figures in uh, from behind on Nicholas and concedes the free kick to Aberdeen. battling hard surrounded by red jerseys I think the half expected the beating but in fact it's going to go to Aberdeen and David Cooper being spoken to by the referee to take the free kick. Dawson John, way by Stephen, Aberdeen putting the pressure on. Stewart, penalty! Ian Ferguson could do little about that one as John Hewitt twisting and turning. You see it quite clearly. Inside the box, that's the penalty. Jim Betts is the penalty expert. A lot of pressure here. Alex Smith going round to see his centre half is before he makes any decision about substitutes. Well, 
him down awkwardly on his shoulder. Nicholas with a shot and a great save by Chris Woods. Nicholas, his shot was dipping and swerving. Dodds has injured his shoulder and he'll need a bit of treatment. And here we see Goff coming up and going down quite heavily catching his shoulder but look at Nicholas playing to the whistle what a shot and what a save so Aberdeen with golf recovered search for another goal bet holding the ball Dodds getting up well in the air Ian Ferguson keeping his cool Rangers come forward as Alex McLeish is seen out on the far touchline. Ferguson tries to get on the outside and he's got corner. And the welcome sight for Aberdeen. Alec McLeish back on. And the Rangers fans too admiring the spirit of the big man. Rangers seventh corner. Schnell does in a bit of trouble. What a scramble. Rangers try again. Stevens, not a good cross. Another throw, two Rangers. Cooper trying to get behind the police there, but there's a flag again of the near sidelines of Mr. Fleming. Cross, John Brown coming in and Rangers again with the half chance look dangerous having to battle hard tackle just going in and Robertson in there to check Drinkle Stevens golf up there and that header very close Again, the set pieces, obviously the Rangers been working on them. Came from the throw-in. And the Schnelder's not too unhappy to see that one either way. The throw-in of uh, Robertson, who's played exceptionally well for Aberdeen. A bit of a nightmare in Dresden, was ordered off there, but has uh, played to more to his form. Willie Miller, kind of pushing there, gives away another free kick. So Debbie Cooper for Rangers, Aberdeen pulling everyone back as Rangers try and release the big men. Butcher's header and it's just across. So it's Cooper's free kick, Butcher made the run but it was Drinkle who got in at the back. It does well. Dodds. Aberdeen almost inviting the challenge inside the box. Bet. Kimmy. Onto the left foot. But that just cuddles it into the safe hands of Woods.
side. The league leaders really have had a tough match here at Pataudry. Aberdeen come again. Bet. Useful ball. Good stays. Nicholas scores. Ferguson turning and Snellberg is there. That was a good shot, a good effort for Ian Ferguson, very quick inside the box. But Snellberg really made this look easy. The Coyce did well. Ferguson was shot. The keeper on the right spot at the right time. The Aberdeen fans in jubilant mood. Two minutes to go ahead by two goals to one. Ferguson breaking wide for Rangers. Another corner, and this could be Rangers' last chance. And Rangers again go forward. Snelder's punch. Stevens. Brown. And Brown pulled down by Hewitt, so that'll be a free kick to Rangers. dugouts, this is their last chance, Ian Ferguson, going to have a go at this one, oh it's Cooper, oh the great save by Stelders, Cooper there, covered that one beautifully, he seems to have done everything right, watch this, and the flying Stelders was there, The final whistle is gone, there's no more, the league leaders have been beaten. The first defeat for Rangers this season at the hands of a determined Aberdeen side. <laughs> 